Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. So, off screen, as usual, I did my dailies with my Sage, and Sage is now caught up with Gunbreaker, because dailies are a great way to level up. I only did a couple dailies, too. And now it's 11 o'clock my time, and all my dailies have reset. So I'll have to do those later. But now we're here. Let's do this. The High Luminary, which I said last time, I think this is a dungeon. So I'm very interested in seeing if it is or not. Wakulmont gazes at the summit of Wakor Zomor. Zomor. We'll see. Yeah, it's a big mountain. God, that is one tall mountain. And we're supposed to climb it? Uh oh. Farther, Toma, Tuliorlu, Korogar. Um, does anyone He's speak speaking that? the old Yokui tongue? The words are difficult to catch. Though your words are crude and cumbersome, I use them for your benefit. You are a claimant in this right of succession. That's right. Then, if you die, Tuliola loses a potential ruler. That's a dark thing to say, friend. I get the feeling you don't share the opinions of the other Yokui we've met. We do not grovel before Gulul Jaja like those shameless. Lapdogs. My brethren and I are conquerors, and we will restore our people to their rightful place as Turas overlords. The giants have their own factions too, it seems. You think your kin weak for showing deference to my father, but they do not follow the man. It is his peace they respect, a peace they always wanted, which they realized could be had right here. Justifications of the craven. They turn their case from our ancestors. From the dream we kept alive for a thousand years and more. They are unworthy of bearing our legacy. I will reclaim the glory of our people. And our ascension begins with the death of the third promise. Stop! I don't want to fight you! Then die on your knees.
Uh oh. That's right. I think I just met the boss of the dungeon. I didn't put much thought into it. My legs were moving before I knew what was happening. I suppose... I feared you'd die before we had the chance to get to know each other. Before I could learn more about you. To what end? Oh, that's simple. If we're to share the land... It's the best way for us to become friends. Well, he's probably gonna second he? guess himself, maybe. He'll live. Not quite ready to walk under his own strength, however. If you could stay and tend to him, the rest of us will continue on to walk or Zormor. Walk or Zormor. Okay. Understood. I was close to the pronunciation. Be careful up there. This changes nothing. We will not forsake our conquest. <laughs> As you like. You want to kill me, you're welcome to try. But right now, you might want to worry about your comrade. On a mountain of that size, there are bound to be creatures even I've never heard of. I'll trust you to lead the way. Then we climb. Gruffolo is waiting. So, if this is a dungeon, who's our healer? Because Alpha Node's staying back. I'm gonna need a healer. Hmm. Give me it. I know it's coming. Say it's unlocked. I know it's a dungeon. There it is. We'll core some more. Of course, I'll be doing this. Like I said, for this expansion, I'll be doing it with the allies, the NPCs, Kryles. That Does that mean you're going to be the healer? I'll, I will tend to this one's wounds. Go on ahead with the others. I set, I set out to kill Trulio's favorite daughter this day. To be aided by her instead was unexpected. I will not harm you or your others until this debt is repaid. As I've said before, I am no fighter. I'll follow you from a distance and keep well out of your way. Now, since it's a new dungeon, let's see. Wakulma has undertaken the Feat of Proof, a challenge which has you seeking the whereabouts of the Elector, High Luminary Gerfler. The search immerses you in the culture and history of Yakoi, and ultimately leads your party to the foot of the sacred peak, Wakor Zamor. The Elector, you are told, awaits you at summit, but simply scaling the soaring mountain and surviving the mountain's denizens will be a feat in of itself. Uh, NPCs for doing it like this. Alizé's the healer. I mean, it makes sense she's a red mage, Interesting, so she's multi-classing. But then again, Wakulmuk can also multi-class, because she... Uh, yeah, you could be a tank DPS, you could be a heal DPS, and you could just be a DPS. Okay. Alright. Item registration and level is 635, and I'm at 647, so I should be a little alright. 
All right, let's uh, see what awaits me on the mountain at level 93. I'm also gonna eat my uh, flatbread just so I get a little XP boost and have a little more tenacity and all that. Oh my, this was not what I expected up on the mountain. I expected the mountain, not reefs. Well, this is immediately very interesting. Huh. All right. One second, everybody. I'll be going once I eat some of this. I'll probably just eat two, why not? I have a hundred and it's cheap to buy. Let's go. Ruins wrap. A snow barbler. is actually a bit loud. I'm gonna turn it down the f hit. Eh, 48. If it's a bit too quiet, I'll turn it up, but yeah. Alright, looks like uh, we had this is a lightning based dungeon. Immediately popping this. see lightning but now we have ice are all the elements on this mountain evidence of how dense this ambient aether must be very
far, I'm just a tad bit sloppy. Because I'm trying to get used to, to, to traje trajectory. Because I'm used to rough drive where you go in dealing damage, but I keep forgetting this doesn't do damage. Because the damage is what starts the fight. This doesn't do damage, so when I'm standing there waiting for everyone to come on me, I'm not doing damage, and they're like, what's this guy doing? So that's why, yeah, see, like how right there, it, 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 it confuses me a little bit. The fire sprites don't do as much damage because that's for magic damage. 10% reduction. I could use arms lane. Whoa, whoa. No, arm blank. Should be number one. So far, my tanking's a bit sloppy, but I'll, I, also I keep forgetting this does no damage. Oh well, you are adorable. I'm gonna murder it. the hats here look like yeah they're definitely inspired okay and not really a fan of it i gotta see the chest pieces all right that went fine no one died Hello. 
slow down. You're going too fast. Building up cartridges slowly. Sucker. Are you like rats? I need to stop popping it when I have camelon camouflage. I keep over doing it. Do not use this until the ramparts go. Actually I'll hold it. Man, your perk cures are very potent. Usually mine aren't that potent when I'm red mage. Come on. Oh. Aether current. Okay. You've caught up. Seems I've been toying with my prey. <laughs> that was unintended. You'll have to find another path. Think of it as a test of your resourcefulness. Of course, sorrow. Alright, we're going this way, everybody. Hmm. I like the music of this dungeon. But this does not seem like a mountain. It seems like we're underwater and these are reefs. But it's probably from uh, the fight with that uh, fiend they locked away. Oh wow, two treasure chests back to back. Now, uh, I doubt this one's equipment. No, it is equipment. Wow, oh wait, it's a necklace offending. Give me a second. It is better than what I'm wearing now. Equip. Alright, I'm not gonna throw it away because I'm gonna need it for my other ones. Walk them up, can you not just, you know, not do that? you're healing me. I'll know you're healing me when I'm not dead. Shortcut. 
more Gar eyes. Yeah, at the end, I gave up doing my Gnashing Fang combo, and I wanted to finish off this combo, so I have two cartridges. Because I had a feeling it was going to be a boss. Hey, you're not the final boss of this level. Alright, let's do this. Now. Is it magic or physical? That was physical, okay. I'm over here, you guys do your thing. is all over the place. I love it. I'm sorry for not talking much. I'm actually paying, trying to pay attention to what's going on. Look away. I saw that coming from my- oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Also, I just noticed this dungeon just got a lot prettier from up here. Give me a second. Let's actually get a view also. Are these better than what I just got? Aw, oh, they are. Well, I might grind this armor set maybe. We'll see. But let's take a view. There's ice peaks over there and all that. We are actually, by the looks of it, we're at the top. That was quick. So we have one more boss arriving... Carrier of the Carrier of the Resting. Hmm. I am enjoying my time at tanking. And you want to know why? I think what helps is I'm not playing with other people. Because I'm I want to do my best to get used to Gunbreaker because I like the class. I'm just not used to being up in front in the enemy while everyone else around me is doing their job. I'm used to being in the back, healing or in the sidelines attacking. With NPCs, it's easier to make mistakes because if they die, well, they're NPCs, but if you're a tank and you let a party member die because you lose aggro for even a second, I fear that make me a bad tank, so I'm doing this to be better. And you want to know what? Let's stop talking and go for it. You. Stop it. There we are. 
that's what I want. I, I lost that girl, that one right there. I saw it. It went blue, meaning it did not have. It was Tech and Alize. I got better at group management. Bosses, I'm okay at. It's groups of enemies I suck at. Alright. Nope. Keep your eyes on me. I'll do that. Whoops. Messed up my combo. It's fine. I still have full cartridges. I'm not gonna use this because we have enemies up ahead. And you're not worth my time. We're gonna charge forward. You have it. Man, I'm in there right now. I'll handle the game. Thank you, Alize, but you can stop saying that. I get it. Alright. Give you a reprisal, which lowers the attack damage by 10%. Now, do that. I'm not going to waste parts of this because I think we're nearing the end of the dungeon, so I'll give you a first strike and a finished combo. The boss might be past there or more enemies. This dungeon has a rhythm, a pattern, I should say. It goes group of enemies, obstacle, group of enemies, obstacle, boss, and so on, so on. That's how most of the dungeons are. Oh, a treasure chest. Ooh, I hope this dungeon gives me the chest piece. I'm curious to see how it looks. Oh, I got... Okay, give me a second. I just got earrings, or is that... No, a ring. Give me a second. Uh, my Lunar Envoy's ear, uh, ring is 620. That's a 650. But that one's a 650. A 660. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I got a necklace. I forgot all about it. That one's also better. Okay, so we're getting upgraded equipment at this dungeon. I could grind it off screen and see what the whole set looks like. So far, I got that. And jewelry. I honestly need the jewelry. Drop the earrings for me, I'd be very happy. Uh huh. Do not drop an earring, so you only equip one of a kind. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Look at me. Thank you, Alize. We're gonna do AoE for now. Okay, I have three seconds left to first uh no mercy. I'm not gonna get the full combo off in time. Brazel. You know what? Your last group enemy is also do arm's length. Just slow down a bit. Alright, we have full cartridges. I wanna go full. I could probably do bigger pulls, but with NPC allies, it would be a little more unreliable. With actual people, they do more damage. NPCs just do the bare basic combos. Hmm. The boss is up there, whatever it is. I don't think it'd be her brother, it's too soon.
Full cartridge, no mercies, off blasting zones of... Uh, is this the luminary? Are we to go? Oh yeah, it says defeat Gafurfer. Gerfler. I am Gulfurur, Elector of the Dawn Servant. Prepare to be tested. Okay, we're going against a giant, so this is going to be interesting because giants are known for their strength and everything. And so I have to tap the... Okay. Man, the battle theme in this one... Mm. So this is the High Luminary. He's, he's huge. That's why he wants. Let's give him one. <sighs> okay, I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to charge forward. Open up with no mercy. Immediately double down. Then pop bow shock or... And then blasting zone. And then we'll worry about everything else as we go. All right, let's go. Oh, you are running for rule. And then, Bloodfest. Uh oh, Haymaker. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. Stonehawk. I don't know what that means. Oh, you know, I'm gonna just arms length. Never mind, didn't work. Alright, let's fix this. I popped it too late, I think. Chronicles of it. Break out the fury of erupting beaks. Oh, I see what this is. Pike. I will take the measure of your resolve. Strength of the mountain, be mine! Alright, follow my comrades. Oh! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, not good. Not good. Uh, sorry, Cryo, that's mine. I'm gonna be selfish and take him. Spirit of my brethren, your thunder roars! That you should endure my fury. Chronicles of Ed. Recall the cruelty of merciless scores. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. 
Goodbye. Yeah. We prom the kneel. Ooh. Excellent. That's a pretty uh, decent dungeon. I think my tanking's getting better, especially with bosses. I was on point. I only messed up twice. I, I'll have to recheck by... Oh, oh, wait. Melee Master. That means every single one of my actions just got upgraded. Yep. Everything just went up in potency. Let's see. Blasting Zone went to 800. Mmm. Because Blasting Zone, if you think about it, was originally... You know, you don't help. <laughs> I want to see the original... Yeah, no, okay, you can't. All right, whatever. Give me the chest piece, come on. Uh, I got the poncho of healing. Oh, I got boots. I'll equip that. What does the poncho look like? It looks like what I expected it to. And I got a fan brush for Pictomancer. Also, damn, I was expecting to get the chest piece. Ah, well. All right, dungeon well done, everybody. I'm happy with my uh, results and performance. I screwed up a few times with my, you know, losing aggro that one time, and then my rotations were messed up once in a while. But other than that, I think I did pretty darn good. No one died. Very good, Claimant. Once more, I name myself Gur Fulur. High luminary to my people, and chosen elector of the Dawn Servant. You are much bigger than the others in the village. Yeah, he's a big boy. All your Kui were once my equal in size, but ever since we were decimated by disease, it is rare to see a child reach our former stature. You speak of the contagion which afflicted the Shaktural expedition. The one recorded in your murals. It is a chapter of our history that is entangled with the legend of the Golden City. I've heard that legend originated with the Yokhui. Is this true? With the visions our ancestors had, to be precise. Preceding the campaign into Shaktural, many were visited by dreams of glittering splendor. They described a paradise that knew neither war nor famine where people lived lives of eternal happiness. A single dreamer might have been dismissed, but when dozens, if not hundreds, spoke the same, the luminaries became convinced it was divine revelation. Everyone had the dream at the same time. <gasps> then the expedition. Its purpose was to find the City of Gold. Yes, help was marshaled from all the territories under our control. Lands were scoured on a massive scale. Ah, little wonder the legend is so similar across Tural. Those involved with the search would have passed the stories down to their children. All right, you go beat them up. They have to prove their worth now. Another claimant, I see. I will test your worth as I have tested those who came before you. I love how Kona's literally out of breath. Oh, what's he drinking? Oh, he's rejuvenated. Okay. Here and now, I think he means. All right, we're out of here. All right. 
And I take the battle's gonna be over. Rion J is down. Kona looks fine. Think Red's good. This one's green. A really nice green, too. Not gonna lie, I like that green. I love how this cutscene has a lot of things. I'm like, that's a nice green. Three to go. Well, technically four. We lost one. How glorious it would have been to race thee and thine to the summit. Though, mayhap not, whilst being hounded by Bakul Jaja and his minions. Really? He's still doing this stuff? Again, that swine shows his disdain for the right. Strangely, despite his eagerness to antagonize us, he withdrew as soon as we fought back in earnest. I cannot fathom what he was trying to achieve. Hmm. On a similar note, I'm also curious as to why you chose the peak of War Corps Zormor for the conclusion of this feat. The earlier stages saw us learn the history of the Yokui. Does this location also hold some special meaning for your people? After seeing the temple behind him and all that, I believe so. Yes. It is a place of great significance. Are those graves? Are All these... these monuments? Is this a burial ground? Oh, is this everyone who had the disease and fell to it? Every high luminary before me is enshrined in this earth. Alongside oh. them are the heroes who bravely stood their ground when Vali Garmanda brought ruin to Urkopacha eight decades past. Hmm, that explains why there are so many. Zorolja, I should have known you'd arrive here first. <sighs> ah, third promise. How relieved I am to find you in good health. Eh, screw you. Sarelcha, you bastard! I should end you here and now! Remember where you are. You will mind your conduct, or you will leave. Right. <clears throat> Sorry. I see no reason to delay further. Show me my father's sepulcher. Papa has a grave? I, he's gonna die one day. I got a feeling he's gonna die in the story. Something bad's going to happen, and it's going to send everything Upon tumbling. Upon this monument are inscribed the names of those who sealed away the monstrous Valley Garbanda. Your fathers included. Gulul Chaja, Master of Resolve and Reason, Champion of Peace. Look at this one. Ketanram. Navigator of Uncharted Oceans. Ketanram? The Lamintan Explorer? Does this mean he joined Galul Jaja on his travels? Galuf should Kafkiwa, be up there. Seeker of the Unknown. How strange to see your name here. Is that your teacher? 
It was unheard of to build cleaving sepulchers for those who were not Yokui. But their great deed demanded recognition. Master of resolve and reason? Champion of peace? Papa really did some amazing things. He carved his path with martial skill. Yet it was clever thinking which allowed him to trap Valigarmanda within its own ice magics. Martial skill and clever thinking. Both sides, mm. both heads. I can't compete with Zorolja's mastery of the Head of Resolve's techniques. And when it comes to knowledge, Kona's the one who most takes after the Head of Reason. Is there anything that I've gotten from Papa? Something I do better than the others? Hmm, that's good. You know, I'm gonna ask her the question instead of telling her. What else defines your father aside from strength and knowledge? What else defines him? What's he known for? Come on. Oh, of course. There's a third part. Papa's love for peace. For his people. That is what he's given me. And I'm fighting to preserve the peaceful Tural he built. Oh no. What was what that? What in the hells was that? Oh no, it's breaking free, isn't there? Let me guess, Baku Jaja did something. You must return to Warlar's Echo immediately. Valigarmanda has broken free. Oh yeah, okay. I had a feeling. I presume that was about the unholy sound? Yes, guy who for some reason doesn't sound like Vancred. Don't think he sounds wrong in this situation. Valigarmanda is free. We need to get back there, now! Well, the good news is, is he just unfroze after being frozen for so long. So he's not going to be fully strengthened. <laughs> How fortuitous. We have been gifted an opportunity to outpace our rivals. Oh, you did something, you a-hole. That's why you were late. Hmm, okay, so that's gonna be our first trial, probably. Yep, we gotta go, now. One second, just gonna teleport, because this is important. No, I like that dungeon, though. And I was on top of that boss, although he did mess me up a couple times. Popping arm's length too late, and this and that, but that's not important. This is important. All right. We, what happened? How did they break him free? Good, you're back. There's much I need, I would explain, but by the time I arrived to investigate, a sudden surge of aether, it, a sudden surge in aether, in aether, there were already fallen giants everywhere. Right now, everyone is preoccupied with treating the wounded. Bring, catch your breath, and then lend a hand where you can. Give me that. Alright. Okay, I can do the trust system there. Okay. An echo of madness. Elf node would enlist your aid in checking on the injured Yakoi. If you're if you are ready, if there are many injured here who need aid, should you find anyone passed out from their wounds, I ask you to alert me to them. Otherwise, I shall be tending to whoever requires the most urgent healing. We can gather here once we've seen to these people's and people's hurts. The people hurt. My bad. I, I I read sometimes people I swear. 
Yeah, it's gonna be our first trial. Easily. That is gonna be our trial number one. You're the third promise's protector. Everything was bathed in bright red. The searing heat melted my entire body. I, I couldn't move. All right. He is not dying, but he is probably gonna be burned for a while. Oh, look at the look at that poncho on that ca uh, the, the cactar on his little chocobo. That's really cute. All right. Well, something was bound to happen sooner or later, and this ended up being it. I didn't think he was going to break out yet. I thought it'd be later. But I think Baku Jaja and the other guy did something to break him free. My wounds started up in serious. But the dryness in my throat, it's as if all the moisture has left my body. Hmm. Elf note, how you doing? Once I've treated the wounded, I'll uh, have everyone meet at the spot where we were talking earlier. Alright. Something burns. The touch of cloth is agony. Yeah, I will laugh. Leave me. There are others in more dire need of help. All right, so far, everyone, everyone's just burned. Though Billy, Billy Gramada's escape is a dire concern. We must, we must need ten, needs tend to those caught in the congregation. Many of these villagers have stained burns, but the fire found no purchase in these stone buildings. Small mercy. Well, here's the thing. If he breathed hot enough, he could turn into a furnace. Around Jay says fire aether pervades the entire village. What happened here? That's the thing. We don't know what happened. I do not need any repairs, so I'm just going to avoid you. All right, let's wait at the destination. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a trial. We're gonna try and corner it, and then we're gonna fight it to the death. Or we'll trap it, but usually we don't trap things. We, well, unless it's a uh, Asian. I've done all I can now. The injured you found were awake and alert then. That as well. We left the injured as comfortable as we could. Many were suffering from burns to a greater or lesser degree. Did the fire sweep through the village? No, because I see no scorch marks anywhere. The details are unclear. Once I, I heal a giant attacked by the mountain bird, the group's leader, Four Poor, I believe they called him, bade me depart. It was then that I felt an intense wave of aether and returned to find Warlord's echo in the state. I need a sip of my coffee. That's better. Okay. Oh, wait. That's almost off my coaster. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> I rushed over the first giant I saw. The low delirious with pain, he repeated the same morning. Billy Gamanda has broke, had broke, broken free. Thus did I contact you with all haste. Well, we're going to need more information than that before we can deal with the situation. Yes, we should speak with the temple guard and see what's become of the Sky Ruins prison. I think we're going to find Aether Crystals hiding in the corner, and someone powered up... Powered it up to break free. Or, because the, the ice is eternal, I don't think they can like, blow it up. I think they fed it Aether, and it broke free. LSA, whatever answers ex exist us in the temple... The High Luminary will have returned by now. Hopefully he's found out more than we have. They did say the prison was beginning to fail, but I felt certain it would hold another few years at least. Was I mistaken? You're not. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone did it on purpose and fed it a thirst so it would break free. 
I'll be glad to learn that this was some all some misunderstanding. A futile hope, by the looks of things. We need to find out what exactly is going on. Okay. The High Luminary grants you entry and awaits you within. Alright, let's see its prison, and I swear I'm going to see, like, crystals in the corner. What happened? Oh, yeah, no, it's... it's a gone. So it's true. The ice has failed. Sure, Morwar. Tell them what you told me. A short while ago, the claimant paid us a visit. Let me guess, Bakul Jaja. Oh, wait, we got the echo. Time to see what happened, rather than hear about it. Who enters this hollowed hall? Ah, a claimant. Here we have the mighty Valigarmata. A terrifying vitral. With every awakening, it has sealed its ruinous name into the memories of a new generation. <laughs> what a good little terror. You've stayed napping right up until the day I needed you. Explain yourself. Oh, it is as they say. Kulul Jaja caused its magic to run rampant, trapping it in a frozen prison of its own creation. Clever. Clever. To unmake it, it would be quite tricky. Two spells must be cast at the exact same moment. A conflagration intense enough to melt the ice, and awakening flame to rekindle the slumbering vitral soul. The only ones capable of such harmonious execution would be the heads of reason and resolve. And the blessed siblings, Bakul Jaja. You mustn't. But I already have. Rise and rage, little terror. For your own gain? Have you any idea how many may die? Wreak havoc, Valigarbanda. Live up to your legend.
I will be mad he didn't attack him at that point, but he, I think he knew he wouldn't have won against him. A messenger to Tuli Yolol has been dispatched. The Landsguard will send a contingent, I am sure. But there is no telling when they will arrive. That idiot! This monstrous act is a step too far, even for him! He's not trying to win the throne anymore, he's trying to slow one down. So, what's the plan? Oh, we're taking it down. If we leave the withdrawal to others, it will be a massacre. Some might call it the wiser choice, if I don't want to fall behind the competition. But I could never live with myself. And my supporters deserve a better ruler. So that's that. I will stay and fight Vali Yarmanda. Oof, it's gonna be this an interesting is an fight, enemy hopefully. so powerful that even my father failed to slay it. Alone, I don't stand a chance. I think your brother might join us. Your other brother, Kona. I understand you've no obligation to aid me outside the right of succession. But for the sake of Urko Pacha and its people, I beg you, join me in this battle. Oh, you have me. I am very curious to see how the first trial battle of Dawn Trail is going to be. I need to know if they... Eh, well, not if they made them better, because... Honestly, and Walker was, eh, okay, but, eh. Uh, you know what? This is the kind of challenge I live for. I'm pretty sure your brother will join, because these are eight people of uh, battles, and we don't have eight <laughs> people here. Drawn to the chaos. You're as bad as Papa. Sometimes. Don't worry. The Sky Ruin should prove a big enough challenge for all of us. Yeah, we're gonna need more people though. That's what the three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, maybe. In her time of need. Dear comrades, now, eh? <laughs> I have to say, it does have a comforting ring to it. I'm gonna need another healer. Knowing someone has your back makes it easier to do what you have to do. Yeah, we're only six. So I'm not counting Aaronville. Aha! So he is joining. And what will we do? I need another healer. And also technically... <laughs> One committed to winning the contest above all else would race on ahead. But... Oh wait, oh, wait, oh, he's actually leaving? If you resolve to slay Vali Karmanta, we'll need to find out where the beast went. That's what we have you for, old friend. Inform the Pelo Pelo of the danger. They may need to flee to lower ground. I think that what we're doing now is searching for him, finding a way to fight him, and that's gonna be a trial. Oh, hey, that must be the body armor. Uh, I don't know what that would be. All right, should I claim it? Reckless enough to free the Skyrim, become Dawn Servant? We'll become a Torleo. I think by now he is disqualified. Hard. That fiend Bakul Jaja, he's as rot he's as he's rotten through and through. There's nothing blessed about him. Two casters releasing spells of fire at the exact same moment. A feat impossible. 
or any but a two-headed mamuja. When I said I would take on the duties of a guide, that did not include the t tracking of an ancient and terrible Turil Vidral. Still, we can't just leave Billy Gamarda free to ravage the land. So, Aaronville, any idea how we can track Vidral uh, Villa, Gridma, uh, Ga Villa Gramada? The tried and true method of comparing sightings with each site, with each, each other's sign of passage, is the most relate, reliable, but also the most time consuming. There's the second option, not as reliable as the first, but if we're lucky, it will let us ascertain the Sky Ruins' whereabouts far more quickly. Though the vid, Turl Vidral is extraordinarily. Of extra extraordinary na nature, Villa Gamarda is still a creature of this world. Like you or me, it is thus sustained by corp corporeal energy and possesses a unique ether ethereal balance. Which means this device should come in handy. I, uh, I have that. Minion? A floating hand? I also tend to be playing with toys. Yeah, same. I don't. It, 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 this feels like a joke. This is no toy, it is an Aether Seeker. As the name suggests, cleaners use it to detect the Aether of living beings. And you've had that in your pack this whole time. I can calibrate it to follow a specific ethereal aspect. The problem with Vilgamarda, however, is it can shift freely between the elements of fire, ice, or lightning. Well, we know that in order to awaken Vilgamarda from its icy imprisonment, Baku Jaja casts spells with quickened which quickened its uh, quickened its fire aspect at Aether, and the residents here were unformally afflicted by burns. Therefore, the logical conclusion is that, upon breaking free, Vilgamada unleashed a great fiery blast. Then the choice is plain, fire. The Seeker, however, is not without its faults, and we were not able to input our quarry's unique Aetheric structure signature in advance. This vice was found to anything, any living source of fire aspected ratio. That fire. Aether. Eww. So we have the, uh, the reliable yet slow method of information gathering versus the potentially swift but easily misled cleaner tool. I say why not curse both methods at the same time? Good idea. We'll have to fall the first to fall back on... Uh, we'll have the first to fall back on if the second fails. You travel with me then, Vader, in case the secret le uh, leads me to some other fiery feat. The rest of us can stay behind and talk to eyewitnesses. The more sky ruin sightings we can compare, the more accurate information will be. If no one has objections, I shall remain here in the village and tend to the Yakoi. Few are seriously injured, but I'm I am wary of wounds inflicted by a creature like Villa Gamanda. I should like to clo uh, be close at hand should their condition suddenly worsen. Right, it sounds like we have work to do. That still. Oh man. You think I'm joking? I'll show you in a second. That is a minion. I got that early on. By the way, you want, you want to turn off your lantern? Uh, actually, he said living a uh, fire aether, so I think it's fine. We should be on our way as well. <laughs> All right. Hey. Uh, I have you. Don't worry, man. I have my... Oh, nope, wrong one. I have my own here. Uh, bu, 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 I think it's the last page. No. Ah, oh, there it is. There you go. Exactly it. All right. Aaronville's... Okay, po pointing the way. Aaronville is ready to send his aether-seeking device to pursue uh, Valley Commander. We'll head to the outskirts of the village first, then set the secret to detect fire aspect of uh, Aether. I'm immediately changing this back. Actually, let me see. 
Uh, no. Where are I can do, 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 do. Ah, there's a Dane, there's Garnet. We'll use a little Dane. Okay, let's go. Or how far out? Okay, you're not that far out. Good. Right now the weather is wind. Alright, I'm coming, Aaronville. Alright. Right, the Seeker is ready to go. Warlord's Echo has is still suffused with the Sky Ruins residential aether. So I've excluded it from the search area to prevent it from swarming the sensors. Let's begin tracking, shall we? Alright. Affirmative tracking nearest source of fire aspected aether. All right, off we go. Come, Aaronville. But yeah, good thing he actually didn't. Uh, he didn't include that because yeah, they that would be crazy. The, this would just be like a fire, fire, fire. Are you leaving me there? Source of fire aspected aether located. Tracking disengaged. Yeah, I had a feeling of I had a feeling one of these was gonna show up during this quest. Not quite the legendary creature we were after. I mean Yeah, you're right. Would you mind dealing with the fire sprite? It will continue to confuse a seeker if we leave it be. Alright, this will take two seconds. Do this. All right, hey buddy. Um, hate to say it, you kind of have to die. Sprite's taken care of. I got one cartridge to my name. Unnecessary measure, I'm afraid. Let's try this again. Affirmative tracking nearest source of fire aspected aether. Alright, aether seeker. Man, it's so weird to just follow this thing. Oh, there's gonna be like a big, uh, a tiny, like, dragonling, isn't there? Like a little tiny little baby dragon breathing fire. I immediately see a fire slug. Man, you, you gotta love how. Oh, it's one of the magma hands. My bad. Oh, yep. It's a golem. Source of aspected aether located. Tracking disengaged. Man, this is working well. All the fire enemies decide to come out now. It's more deadly than a sprite. Frightening enough, but again, not what we're looking for. I know. If you'd be so kind. Yes, I'm getting a workout today. Hey, buddy, I hate to say it, you're confusing our sensors. Could you die? Sorry, buddy. My thanks. I'd ask if you gave, if it gave you any trouble, but considering who I'm talking to... Nah, I didn't even get scratched. Seeker, resume tracking, and do try to point out something useful this time. Affirmative, resuming tracking. Oh, we're going back down the hill. Oh wait, no, we're going up the mountain. Okay, I was, I'm like, don't go back that way we came. It's a bloodsucker. 
If I had an ex-girlfriend or an ex-wife, I'd be like, ah, but no. It's a lawyer! You're kidding me. I s Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is a problem. Source of fire expected aether located. Tracking disengaged. There's nothing I can do about this. You should ch get a chunk of that, and if it's ever burning, put it in, like a lantern. Have an ever burning lantern, but I'm probably. Yeah. Uh, another remnant of Villagamada's last rampage. The crater's flames registered the seeker as Corporeal Aether. I swear I can say that word, just my brain and mouth don't want to cooperate. Corporeal. Corporeal! Ha ha ha! See? In other words, the Tulial Saga, when Villagamarda Villig rages out of control, its fire burns forever, and its ice does not thaw, and its lightning crackles without cease. Thus was the Dawn Servant able to turn the Sky Ruins' parapetal parap parap magic again against itself, trapped it within an unmelting prison of ice. This is no mundane fire, but some kind of everlasting sorcery once again it, it is strange feeling feeling to the fanciful poetry proven true the important thing is that the fire was classified as living aether we can feed a sample into the seeker and greatly improve its accuracy one moment hey okay so it's a good thing we came here also you can get a chunk of that in other words get a lantern put a nice chunk of that burning rock in there and have an ever burning lantern all right, there. Now the Seeker should ignore any etheric signature but Villagramadas. Had, had I realized this was possible from the start, then you needn't have fought the creatures at all. My apologies, it seems I still have much to learn from this journey as a gleaner and as a guide. No problem, man. Direct hit right, ooh. The Sky Ruin. Aaronville is right, resume tracking Villagramada. This time, the Seeker should be attracted solely on Villagamada's Aether. Resume tracking based on the latest sample. Affirmative. Resume tracking. Sample Aether. Ethereal signature detected. Engaging accelerated pursuit mode. Oh. Wait, I'm not following you guys anymore? Oh, and you're all the way over there. All right, mount time. No, 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 not you. Time to change it up. Uh, so I just got a new mount this morning, and you know what? I'll write just for you. I got the parade chocobo. I apparently got enough accommodations because people like me. You need 3,000 to get this. I've been playing this game how long, and now I finally got it. All right, here we go. Also, look at the poor guy. He's trying to eat the Gishel greens, but oh, he can't just reach it. Oh, the poor guy. He's hungry. Ball, so we're helping. He would put him on a diet. He's gonna get thin from this. Come on, buddy. He, he's so hungry. I believe this one, like the other fat chocobo, when it flies, you put the Gishel greens away and you pull out cake. Boy, who knew cake makes fat? The fat things fly. Hey, leave me alone. Oh, there's another hole. Right, yeah, he did do a few. Uh, a number on this place. Alright, see you later, buddy. Good, the seeker was drawn directly to the sky ruins fire. Now we know we set the correct parameters for its ethereal as aspect. I'll try increasing the threshold for etheric concentration. That should direct us to the Turl Vidral itself. Recalibrating sensors. Resuming tracking. Oh, jeez. I'm running to the other end of the map. All right. Pray Chocobo. You're getting a workout today. Run. Run, fatty. Run. My inventory's starting to get a little messy. I, I'm just going to sell these. I don't need those. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need the paintbrush for a while, honestly. This is useless. Uh, that is a level like 23 dungeon. 
Is it 23 or is it 30? 35, my bad. I mean, it comes with a headwear and robe, so you're not able to actually wear headwear with this. Not my thing. Hey, how you doing? Come on, boy, keep running. We're gonna make you lose that weight. That itch in my eye. So I'm about to hit an hour 30 in my recording. About to, not yet. I'm wondering if, if depending on when I unlock this trial, I might be able to do it this episode or next episode. If I do it this episode, a dungeon, a trial, a lot of story, three good things. A Minotaur. Hello, Pen. Oh, so he's over here then. He, okay. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, remember, I never came this way. I'm sorry, but you're gonna be hurting for a while. Okay, yeah, this section, remember earlier when I was reading that, I'm like, I'll come back here later. The story brought me here. I think we'd notice that Vilgamata was inside this passage. Let us head through uh, to the other side. Yeah, I think he is on the other side. Sorry, Parade Chocobo, I'm giving you a break. I know I probably exhausted you. Now, where would it be? I don't see anything. Oh man, this location is actually. Oh man. It is very lovely. Okay. Is it here? Um. The trail ends here, it seems. Is it above us or below us? Could Valikarmanta have shifted its elemental aspect? It does have three to choose from, after all. No, I think it's here. In any case, I'm almost certain the Vitral was headed in the direction of Warcore Lardor. We should let the others know we have a likely location. Everyone on me. Alphano is assisting the Yokhoi with their evacuation. He thought they could use a healing hand with the injured. So where is Varigarmanda? Over there. We have to walk. Warkor Lardor. Its stratified layers contain a wealth of crystals, said to be the source of its many-colored glow. After 80 years of imprisonment, the Vitral will be in dire need of sustenance. It would have been drawn to the mountain's energies. Mm-hmm, that's what I thought. So Valley Garmanda seeks to replenish its ether. Then we'd better not give it the chance. Stop! Uh-oh, is it that giant who wanted to kill her? That mountain. His sacred ground. I forbid you to set foot on it. Sorry, we... It is not our intention to trespass. But you must understand, that's where Vali Yarmanda has gone. If we don't slay it now, it will slaughter countless innocents. Just like in the old days, I beg you, permit us to enter. Out of the question. Your favor. band is incapable of defeating Valikarmanda. Either you seek to defile Warkor Larador, or you are fools. If you doubt their chances, how would you feel were we to join them? Hey, hey, there we go. Now I'll have a party big enough for this fight. 
the monument to Valigarmanda's defeat bears the names of seven heroes. With our forces combined, we also number seven. Seven weaklings are no less doomed than four. Oh, wait, what? Zorocha, you've come to help as well. Oh, that actually shocks me. Against my sound advice. While the rest of you were tussling with this sky ruin, we might have secured an insurmountable lead. A minor delay. It will not change the contest's outcome. I would take the measure of his Tural Vitra my father was unable to kill. Okay, so both brothers are with us. Both my brothers here. This battle is all but I'm, won. So, either he's showing humanity or he's just interested Your in fighting it. Is premature. I never said I would let you pass. Remember, you owe us a favor. You said we owe you one. Brother, no! We do not bear arms against our own people. What an odd thing to say. As I recall, the inhabitants of Chirwagur Sultan do not consider themselves members of the Tuliolal nation. I'd hardly call them our own people. What does that matter? Members or not, everyone in Tural is part of our dream for peace. If you would hurt them, then you'll have to go through me. She... There she we saved go. me... from the mountain bird. Now... then... The same eyes. Eyes of stone. Words of stone. We are still in her debt. This is true. Consider the debt repaid. But do not misunderstand. We do not submit to Tuliolan rule. Aye, you've made your point. We can talk more once the contest is over. I ask your name. Muklamat, protector of peace and soon to be done servant. Even people with wildly different ideals can find understanding through earnest discussion. I believe that wholeheartedly. As do I. I won't give up until we reach a compromise. Shame a lot of people nowadays don't know how to do that. Uh, assuming you survive, my old bones and I will be waiting here for the true heir's return. Hey, it gives me eight people. Your thoughts have always been a mystery to me, brother. But I'm relieved to see you put aside the contest for the sake of the greater good. I think he just wants to fight it, not lying. Our nation is a fortress, and its people the bricks with which it is built. The more that are lost or broken, the weaker Tuli Yolol becomes. Okay, so he's kind of thinking about the people. Even the crudest rock has value as a stepping stone. <laughs> it's an improvement, I guess. Come on, you two. 
Forget about the right of succession for now, and help me fight this overgrown snake bird. I don't care how strong the sky ruin may be. We're going to put this menace down for good. While it's weakened, yes. I think we have a chance. Now, ticket. Is it going to be available now? Yeah, we got it. You know what? I'm going to do it. This is going to be a good 20 minutes, probably. Yeah, we're going to use the NPC companions, so it's going to be a little longer than using regular people. So regular people do never stop attacking. Okay, I'm very curious to see... Oh, wait. First things first. I'm care. I'm curious. In the lands of Turul, there is a class of beasts which transcend the limits of their natural order. The Turul Vidral. The mightiest of these, the feared and fearsome Villigamarda, caused centuries of suffering until it was last sealed away in the mountain fatness of Oka Akupaka by the young Galujaja. Eight years later, however, a foolish claimant in the Reich succession has seen fit to release the Sky Ruin from its icy prison. If you would spare Tyrol's people of a new age of terror, you must stand with Boklama against a fi flying calamity and its endless elemental fury. All right, let's enter. What do we have here? Your DPS, Viper, Pictomancer, we got... Right, oh man, we are stacked. So, Alize. All right, so basically, if I was not a tank and a DPS, these two will be the same. Wakulamut will be up here as a tank, because warrior. If I was a healer, Alize would go DPS, so on, so on. Let's register. Let's see what this fight brings. I am curious to see what the first trial of Dawn Trail is like. The devs did say they made the uh, expansion a little more difficult. I'm curious to see if anything's changed. This is the first one. Nice rainbow. Oh god, I can already imagine what Savage is like. Pearl Vidral, Billy Gramanda. How did we get here? Ooh. Alright, thanks for the main tanking. Stop. Oh, jeez. Oh, radiant starlight, become my blade. Wait, hold up, everybody. Thank you for the balance. I appreciate it. Backing up. Everyone's running. What is this? Oh, it's a chrono thing. Okay. Wind's middle. Understood now. Nebula. I think I have to levitate. 
hell of a radiant starlight become my blade.
didn't get the uh, limit break off, but that was a interesting fight. Look at that. Okay. My thoughts on that fight. I can only imagine what Savage is like. Holy cow. Oh, so if I die, I'm just going to come back to life with the Wheel of Folk. Okay. Okay, so I liked how the battle started, and of course, like with the NPCs, this is a good way to train and test your way in one of these battles is using the NPCs and follow them. But the way it changed the field multiple times with the ice, fire, and thunder, it was very interesting. I can only imagine what Savage is like, and holy cow, I bet it's madness. I liked the fight. The battle theme was meh. It wasn't that amazing of a battle theme. Whee! Other than that, uh, battle was fine. I actually really liked how much it changed the theme of the entire dungeon. Not the dungeon, the fight. How this changed, and on top of that, uh, big giant mountains of ice, thunder waves, fire. The fire didn't happen that much. I think that's his base form. But honestly, it took about, what, 11 minutes? Not bad. No, 12 minutes, I would say. But still, it wasn't a bad fight at all. Savage is probably not great, and I'm saying that in the sense of a casual player. So I got a feeling, because you see how many like visuals I had. You pull back, you go into the corner, one closest. When he pulls forward, you run away to the back. The wind means go to the middle, and so on, so on. Got a feeling Savage combines a bunch of those moves together. On top of that, you don't see where the uh, avalanches and everything are going. You gotta just look and see the signs, but it's not telegraphing where everything's going. I got a feeling he changes more and has a lot more moves, too. Maybe, yeah, but yeah. Other than that, I like the battle. The theme, though, kind of bland, to be honest. It was okay, personally. But we killed it. We did it. We slew Valley Armanda. A feat that even the great Gulul Chacha couldn't manage. And easy there. It was in slumber for 80 years. It was very weakened. <laughs> <laughs> for you, Papa! There's no denying it was an impressive achievement, but I wouldn't be so quick to claim we've outdone Yeah, further. let's put common sense here, please. The Fidral was weakened by decades of imprisonment. Had we faced it in its prime, we wouldn't have fared a fraction as well. Mm-hmm. How can you say that? 80 years couldn't have made that much of a <laughs> difference. <laughs> Listen, I can I, I, I could be sick in bed for a week and I feel at the gym. Trust me, 80 years make a difference. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Papa's still the best. You have a ways to go. I'm going to be honest. You're right about that. I need to improve if I want to surpass the old man. The Sky Ruin lies dead. And still, I've yet to prove myself the miracle. Well, I suppose we should head back and join Erinville. I we did leave him with only Sarelja for company. Yeah, that's not a great person to leave on our party members. But yeah, they're gonna be happy to hear this news. 
But yeah, let's not jump to conclusions saying we're bloody amazing. That guy, it was imprisoned for 80 years. Its aether was probably depleted. It was not full power. I said that the entire time. <laughs> All right, around Jay, how you doing? It is fortunate we vanquished the winged calamity. Uh, it could inflict greater suffering upon these lands. And I'm done talking. Hello, Aether Current. Someone's doing fishing. I think that I think they're fishing. That might be fishing because I extremely doubt there's anything there to gather. But I wouldn't know. I don't really gather. Kona did well. Our promise has promised to you, don't you think? I agree. Honestly, Kona, in some ways, is better than her, but in other ways, she's better than him. Witnessing Zoral Ja in battle, understand why he's widely considered to be Toriel's greatest warrior. Didn't I tell you? I put my own weight in battle now. Kyle, I was busy running around and trying to keep myself alive, thank you. I wasn't watching you. Walk on, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm still giddy for a victory. Hey, it's still a victory. It's just, it wasn't at full power, so let's not think we're better than your father. The matter of outdoing our father aside, this was the best outcome we could have hoped for. Never again will our people need fear the looming shadow of the sky ruin. Tis true. Your proud expressions bes uh, bespeak a successful hunt. Not that I'm surprised the least. Zoral Ja came back earlier, but he left almost immediately with Sarl Ja in tow. He seemed disinclined to share in any victory celebrations. That's eh, nothing unusual for Zoral Ja. No, it's Bakul Ja Ja that concerns me. He's probably far ahead now, making the most of the mayhem he caused. I still can't believe he did something so evil just to slow us down. If we hadn't slain v Villa Gamada, it wasn't only Ukapaka at risk. There would have been deaths across the entire continent. I'm more certain than ever that Bakul Jaja cannot be allowed to rule. I have to catch him and take back my keystone. You do? Okay. That's with an eventful episode, and I'm very happy. We got a dungeon, a trial, a bunch of story. We got to see both brothers in action in our party. I didn't really see the one brother. I saw Kona a little bit, but I didn't see uh, the other one. The trial was really interesting. I like some of the mechanics and all that, and I can only imagine how awful Savage is. The dungeon had a really interesting layout. It was not horizontal. It was a vertical dungeon where we're going up constantly. On top of that, the boss and all that was interesting. Uh, the boss theme, though, was kind of lacking for me for the trial, but on top, I, I like the battle overall. The story is still keeping me intrigued, and I got a feeling things are going to be going down soon, because, like I say, I gauge what the story's at by my level, although I know that there's way more story when you're max level. But right now, I would say I am nearing half, maybe? So I got a feeling there's more of the story than just collecting keystones and finding a successor to be Dawn's servant. I got a feeling something else is going to happen. Like I say, I'm staying as blind as possible. But yeah, I don't know what else would happen. Also, this is going to be a last thing I say and I'm going to leave for now, but uh, I think the reason why I'm enjoying this expansion so much is if you think about it, Stormblood was the last expansion we had where we weren't fighting gods, we were fighting other people, and it was mostly about, you know, war and all that, but still, it didn't have any, like, war, like, earthly calamities in the, in the, in yet, that was Shadowbringers. But then Shadowbringers and Endwalker was all about these big fights that, we're, we're taking place in fights to save the entire world the shard the crystal whatever even endwalker you're literally in space on top of a dragon fight in a god type creature we fall highland zodiac people well i'm liking this expansion because sometimes you have to come back down to earth and just have a regular adventure where the world's not on the line and we're just along for the ride. Like, I get, technically, we've killed gods and all that, and we should be slaying things instantly, but 
Honestly, having a down-to-earth story about just a right of succession and all that for the throne is a nice change of pace, honestly. And that's probably why A Realm Reborn, even though I don't remember as much as... I don't remember as much as I used to back before I really stopped playing the game for a lot of reasons, but I think that's why I enjoyed that and Stormblood a lot more than Shadowbringers and Endwalker. Is sometimes... Like, Endwalker... Shadowbringers was fine. I, I liked the story and everything. And Iron Walker really went up, ramped it up to 11. I like the smaller stories where smaller things, not the entire world, are in danger. Like, you have to build up for that, which Shadowbringers and Iron Walker did. But it's time to bring it back down. Dial it back to 5. Build your way back up slowly. And so right now I'm enjoying the story for what it is. A nice slow burn, learning a new continent, learning the people, and everything as I go. And I know you probably clicked off the video by now, but honestly, I wanted to say that for a while. Because I know some people, I've seen some people, and I think I was talking about this the other time, but I'll say it again. I know people are complaining this expansion's boring, a slow burn and all that, but I have no problem with that. I'm here... For a story i want to be told something i want to be part of it and right now i am i'm helping walk them up become dawn servant i'm watching all these characters grow in personality and guess what the world is not in danger the world's not having a threat with zodiac on the moon about to do his stuff hydelins in the center of the earth and all this and that a big giant winged demon in the sky literally killing everyone on the earth while we're going there on the back of a dragon this is just a nice simple down to earth story that i'm pretty sure shit's gonna go south very soon but until then i'm done rambling you probably left not even an hour into this video I don't blame you. I'm not the best person to watch playing these games. There are way better people. But well, I'm doing this mostly for me, like everything else I do. But, you know what? I'm going to call it. And I'll see you next time. And we shall pick up the story with the Feet of Ice. Ah, and it seems our free company leader is doing the submarine stuff. Never really taken part of it. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.